In this video, we will see 3D printing of a Batman bust and steps to attain a smooth finish of your 3D printed object. To start off with, I have found the design of a Batman bust in a website called as Thingiverse. The credit of this design goes to this user. I have already downloaded all the files to make my 3D print, so I am going to leave it now. I have added the links of this design in the description below. So if you guys are interested, you, ca you can go and check it out. I am going to use my ANET A6 for this print and a black PLA. Here is my print settings. Layer height is 0.2 mm and infill is at 60%. Let's begin our printing. Let's take a closer look at our model and see how the print quality really is. Overall, the structure wise, I am pretty content with how ANET A6 has built this model. Uh, all the structure and all the curves are pretty well defined and I don't see any uh, over extrusion or under extrusion structure wise. But on the left side, uh, here you can see some deformities on the surface. I'm not sure whether you can observe it on the camera, but certainly there is an over extrusion happened on this side. So uh, this is something which I need to work on while smoothening this model out. When it comes to the facial details, I've scaled down this print for faster printing and uh, that really affected the facial details of this Batman bust model. So it lacked facial details and ANET A6 doesn't deal greatly with minute resolution or minute details in 3D prints. So these are the things which I need to work on while smoothening my 3D print. To smoothen out my 3D print, I am going to do three important steps. First one is sanding and filling. Second one is applying primer. And the third one is painting it. For the purpose of sanding, I am going to use sandpaper of 320 and 400 grit. I'm going to use epoxy resin as a filler for my 3D printed model. First, let me cut the brim of my 3D print. I've got a small hole under the chin of my 3D printed Batman bust. So I am going to use the filler to fill this hole. Once the filling is done, I am going to use a 320 grit sandpaper to smoothen the surface of my 3D print. Now that the sanding and filling is done, my 3D printed model became very smooth without any sort of irregularities on the surface. Our next step is to apply primer to the 3D printed object. The main purpose of applying primer is to provide better adhesion to the paint and to fill out any small pores in the 3D printed object. I personally prefer brushes over spraying cans. Sometimes spraying cans can leave a lot of mess. 
if you are good with spraying cans then you are good to go with it but always remember to paint in thin layers This is how the model looks after two layers of primer. Now I am going to sand through this layers of primer using a 400 grit sandpaper. The main purpose of doing this is to achieve more smoothness on the model so that the painting will be a lot easier and the paint will spread evenly. This is how the model looks after sanding through the two layers of primer. Uh, the surface is really super smooth now and I could barely feel any sort of irregularities on it. So it is finally ready. I can give one more coat of primer on the model and go for painting. With the final layer of primer is on. It's time to paint the dark night in its true color. Remember, it is important to paint in thin layers and for best results, give two coats of paint to the model. The Dark Knight is finally ready to be showcased on your desk. Overall, I am pretty happy with how this print and smoothening process turned out. But the paint job could have been better since there were few visible blotches that should have been avoided. Apart from this, facial details were a bit let down since I have scaled the print down to make, it, make the printing faster but uh, facial details were eventually lost which I should avoid in my next attempt. Here is a before and after image to give you an idea of how the smoothening process uh, made the print look better. If you like what we are doing, consider buying the parts for this project from the links given in the description below. By doing so, you can support us and help us to grow our channel. Hope this video was informative to you. If it does, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.